uh, artist by the name of Alexander Calder. And Alexander Calder liked things that were light, airy, primary colors. Does anybody know what primary colors are? What's a primary color, sir? The primary color is red. Another one? Blue. And? Green. Nope. Wait, no. Um, Go ahead. Yellow. There you go. Red, yellow. Red, yellow, blue are primary colors. Those are the colors that you cannot mix other colors to get those. However, every color is based off of those three. Okay? Believe it or not, if you mix all three of those colors, you get brown. Okay. So what he did, what he did is it hit his art style is he loved to work with wire. And what we're actually going to do today is we are actually going to make a mobile that you guys will be able to hang in your house that will be balanced. Now this is where it's going to be fun because not everybody's mobile will be balanced the same way as mine is. Mine happens to be somewhat in the middle, but we're going we're gonna to do a little physics in with this too. Okay, so what I did is I grabbed a couple of Alexander Calder's pictures, so that you guys can see some of the things he does. That's actually um, a famous comedian, Jimmy Durante, which is past most of our time. Who's, he's been passed away for many years, but that is a sculpture done completely out of the wire in 1928. Okay, what's used in this sculpture? Okay. Wire glass, that's it. Does that look like it's glass that he's cut, or does it look like maybe he found it? Uh, yeah, because it, it has the basic shape, but it's not necessarily in the exact size or maybe proportion as if it were a real person. I love this one. It's a giant fish. It looks easy. That's all pieces of trash, sea glass, that he found to make this. Um, this, I've actually seen in a museum. It's probably about eight or ten feet across. And it's probably as tall as I am with all the appendages hanging off of it. And it's a very lightweight mobile. In other words, it actually moves in the museum. So as if it were wind chimes, wind catchers. And he does do some still sculptures. It's kind of really fits today. <laughs> I'm just trying to basically show you a few things that he's done so that you guys have an idea. Okay. Let's go over a couple things that we saw in this. What materials did he use when he made his artwork? Give me one item that you saw up there. Sam. Wire. Wire, okay? Give me another item you saw. Glass. Glass, another one. Um. And it could be a descriptive item. In other words, you don't know whether it's paint or marker or things like that. Uh, a, a what? <coughs> okay, drawing the pencil. Um, what colors did he focus on when he did all of these? Yes. Primary colors and what? Black. Black. Okay. Do these lines look like they were very delicate and that they were done with not necessarily precision, but like done like calligraphy or something like that? No. Does it look like he had fun when he did it? When I do that scribble on your page, do you think I have fun going around scribbling on everybody's page? Yeah. I have 
probably be fun doing that because it's a line that has no care whatsoever. While he used lines that when put together make something, if you look at some of his other works, they're just very simple and they offer patterns. So what we're going to do today is, we're going to make a wire sculpture today. Okay. I need everybody to take your, your sketch paper, put your name on it, just so you know who it is. Yes, I would love it. Uh, everybody gets one of these. <laughs> yeah, okay, that one. Yep, two of these for everybody. Two of those. Yep, I'll have somebody else help. Um, let's see. You guys are receiving wire, be very careful. One of those. Excuse me, 1898, July 22nd. Yes, he passed away November 11, 1976. He was an American sculptor that was best known as the originator of the movie. He liked to do kinetic sculpture. He liked to do items that were delicately balanced, which is what we're going to do today. So I would put down your wire because you want your wire to maintain its straight. You also should have three pieces of paper, red, yellow, blue, a pair of scissors, and somebody is coming around with... If you're one um, short, you can cut in half. Don't use the stickers yet. Um, you should have four pieces of wire total. You should have one long, stiff one, one very flexible, skinny one, and then two smaller ones. It's hard to get just one. Does that just work? Raise your hand if you don't have two of the shorter ones. Check what you have and make sure you have two short ones. Okay. When Alexander Calder did his work, he worked in two different, um, I don't know if you want to, act, want to call them styles or if I want to call them fields. If I showed you this piece of paper right here, would you tell me that this piece of paper, based on its shape alone, would be hard or soft? Based on its shape alone, what's the shape of it? Hard. Hard. Why is it hard? Points. Okay? If I had a piece of paper, That was like this. Okay? Forget that it's a piece of paper. Look at it as a shape alone. Would you say this is a hard shape or a soft shape? Soft. soft. Why is it soft? Does it doesn't have any points. So when we do this project today, I'm going to ask you for hard shapes and I'm going to ask you for soft shapes. Now, this whole project is done as a mind. In other words, I'm not going to talk. You have to watch what I do and then mimic. And what I'll do is I'll put my hands up when I'm done with what the, what the step is that I'm done with. And then you guys will copy. And when you're done, you'll put your hands up. Okay? Out of these three colors, pick one and hold it up.
It's okay if you don't have the glue. It doesn't matter. All three pieces of paper are going to be folded the same way. <laughs> Pick one color, does not matter what color. Where the fold is, you're going to cut it so that you will wind up with two triangles. Anybody notice 
what I'm doing with my scissors? Am I moving my scissors? No. No, what am I moving? The paper. The paper. The paper. That's the best way to get just funky shapes is just move your paper as your scissors are cut. That's my soft shape. Does that look soft? Yeah. Okay. Decide whether you want to do a harder soft shape and do it for one of your small triangles. Do you remember what I said? You don't have to move your scissors. Is he moving this? Good try. Put your hand on the scissors. Okay. Let's get it right in here. Okay. Don't move your scissors. Just going to start cutting. And nope, don't move your scissors. We're going to move the paper. I'll move the paper and cut that. Remember, I like my I like my paper. Can you do that? Can you make it look like it looks like a bowl and that's what I have to say. That is so cool. You might want to cut it out. Yeah. It's hard to do it that way. Got so many things.
down there. I want you to push this wire backwards, pull it around, and go back up. So now I have a shape 
I, and now I have part of a mobile that looks like this. <laughs> but it's sort of floppy, isn't it? But we're not going to keep it floppy, don't worry. Exactly that. There is no upside down. It looks like yeah, there is. It's upside it's down. Down. <laughs> it up. There is no upside down. Is there is. No, there isn't. Yes. I want you to go ahead and do both small. So that's four small pieces on two small wires. Yes. The reason why is because we're going to be willing to that one. And then he's fine. Oh no, he's fine. He's done. He's doing quite well. Yep. Oh, this one's a big one. Everybody in a room had a little bit of 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 a little
It's, it's very funny.
No, we don't. Okay, this is where the floppy wire comes in. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is not the I think I might have. for a 
paper clip. <laughs> okay? You're going to tell them they have to have it now. And you're going to take a paper clip and you're going to make, you're going to straighten it out just a little as a hook. And you're going to hook it like this. And then this is going to fly around in the house, just floating on its own volition. Okay. Okay? No, you don't need a string, you just have a paper clip. I'm sure you can find something to hang it on. Mommy, you can just the extra No, the extra wire is not strong enough to hold it, that's why. I'm just holding it. Together. No, it, 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 trust me, to hang by itself, it is not strong enough. I'm just holding it together. I'm not going to hang it.